our progress so far. We have one transactional table or fact that we created with several measures and we connected currency, item and date dimension. Company dimension came by default. We have added a bit of time intelligence and now we want to add in this exercise DAX calculation or the measures that are not created based on the data warehouse but on tabular database. So let's see what would that be. That would be for example average selling price. It's division between the sales, sales and quantity or number of sales transaction. Let's do this. We go back to our application, go to manage transaction and find the transactional table that we want to hold this measure. Actually, the measure can be anywhere. We just want to find it easily. So these are data warehouse based transactions that are coming directly from data warehouse. Here we would write a formula that would still be running between the columns that are on data warehouse. Now we are going to create a DAX expression. And the first DAX expression will be number of sales transactions. as there is some basic DAX expression here. So it's going to be count. That's what we know, not to forget. And we have this here and we can put, let's say, company or the or currency because it's a count. It's just okay. We'll have a count of number of sales transactions here. And this is a DAX expression. If we update the model, in no time, we have already our new transaction here. Okay, so this was warming up and fast. Now, you, you, you have seen that this interface is not super powerful. It gives some basic. Okay, uh, And the point is that it's not meant to be. Uh, it's better to work on Power BI and copy DAX expression from there. So all the time we have been using only Excel and for the beginning Excel is absolutely better than Power BI. It's easier to uh, get orientation and so on. So let's go to analysis services first to connect to our model. It's a brand new so it's a model here and we save the model now. Okay. Now we are in the Power BI, we just added the um, in number of rows. So what we are going to do is average selling price and uh, just verify that the data are coming right by date. Good. So um, this is not difficult. What we will do is we would create a measure and the measure is going to be, let's say, sales price is going to be defined defined as division between the sales amount and its sales and sales quantity okay sales quantity i just wonder we have here quantity here it is um, keyboard is this so if we are fine with decimals we just put this here and the sales price will be so this is easy and we definitely suggest that for all DAX expression you use Power BI it's way better suited to do any formula writing, it supports IntelliSense, it gives you the error, it's a very good formatting. Uh, you can use, of course, also any other tool. The Power BI is the first tool of choice. Now, how do we bring this into BI for Dynamics? It's simple. We just copy any expression that we have and we intentionally put the same name, sales price. And you may think, oh, that's not a good idea because there'll be confusion. Well, actually, let's just try this. 
and um, update the model. Here it is. Now we have the sales price. We didn't refresh this model yet, so it's still the sales price coming from a report, local report. Let's do this. And here we have an error. Now, also this is an error. It's not a problem, and if you want to do something, but you will hit the problem all the time. Report this issue. Well, you cannot go to the three dots and delete it. There is a hack. Double click, put the sales point, sales price to, or just rename it, and then uh, you can verify if the number is okay. Let's do this. Um, yes, number is okay. So now we can say thank you, goodbye. Here it is. Uh, this is how we are going to bring. DAX expression into the BF for dynamics. So it's going to be created first in the Power BI and the formula that we have, we're just going to do. Now the formula is also here and all the formulas you may see, you can tooltip and it will give you the uh, formula that was created here, including the blank, non-blank extension of the formula. After some work, we have created a very smart measure new item sales percentage which calculates the items that have some revenue in the period but they did not have any revenue in the prior period to this day so it's mean day and the percentage is new item sales divided by net sales so this formula is here and if we want to get this formula to our server we just copy this part here now before i continue the best practice is that whenever you are writing something that's not a part of the model uh, on a server, uh, put some extension prefix or suffix so that you know what's manual and what's coming from the server. In this way, it's easier to find the changes. So let's go back to our application and just write new item sales percentage and just copy paste the formula and we can now write percent and write the formula it's okay it's the same just the formatting let's do the update okay this is the old guy here let's just refresh the model good I see the numbers are the same and um, this is how you bring measures from Power BI, where it is way easier to create formulas, verify, check, visualize into BFO Dynamics. So this concludes this exercise.